Drea, you look great too. I want to post that video of you dancing yesterday, Drea. That was fun. Um, okay. You look beautiful, no filter. Oh, thank you. My favorite jewelry to wear. Um, come on, that's like a setup question. This is I love wearing Serena Williams jewelry. It's really cool to um, to just have it and to also kind of buy something that supports other people. It's really fun and really cool. Um, so your favorite color combos for summer. Um, what was that question? Your favorite color combos for summer. My favorite color combos for summer. Um, can I get that thing there? That little white. It's like a little. I'm gonna set you all up on. It's behind you. It's like a little handle. Yeah, it's big actually. Um, I don't know. I'm really loving the lime green, and I'm really loving the um, anything that's like really bright and fun and cool and and stuff like that. All right, so. We are waiting for Natalie to join us. I'm gonna, huh? It says she requested. Uh, okay. We might be having a technical difficulty and we might have to re. Hello. Oh, there we are. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm good. It's good to see you. Great to see you. Um, so I know you had a really exciting announcement yet the other day that I was a part of as well. Um, let's talk about it. It was about Angel City. Yeah, we are so excited that we are part of this team together with you and Alexis and Olympia um, in the ownership of a new soccer in L.A., a women's yeah. soccer in L.A. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm still, I'm still trying to work on my little arm here. Um, <laughs> um, but uh, so how do you feel about that? Like, uh, you know, what made you get excited about soccer? I saw you post some things before, but what made you get really excited about it? Well, I, I started getting into soccer with Kara, Kara Nortman, who's one of the other um, uh, founders of, of City. Uh, we met through Time's Up and kind of women's um, gathering. And she got me into soccer, and then I was just looking at, okay, this is the most popular sport in the world. The U.S. has the best players in the world. How are we not celebrating day at home, not just like every four years at the World Cup? And started looking into it and then found like-minded people. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we are so so excited to to bring this team to LA and also to have people like you of course um uh, there's only one person like you of course but to be spreading your your, um, your energy across sports for women yeah um so yeah that's really exciting so I um so to be honest my husband told me first about it he said that he um was uh, thinking, I think it started at Wimbledon. He said he was thinking last year's Wimbledon, he was thinking about this. We were watching the World Cup and, you know, the women's soccer team, that's what's so funny, right? They've been dominant for how many, how many, when have they run, won in a row? Like four World Cups in a row? Yeah, they, I mean, they've, they've, they're always like in, in the, the top few teams and um, yeah, and then yeah. They They've won, obviously, multiple cups. So I want to say they've won about four in a row after the last one because I've actually been watching them for a really long time since Mia Hamm was was playing, and which wasn't that long ago. But it was. There's been so many generations. But um, so Alexis said that he wanted to do something with the LA and, and create a team in LA, and I was like, oh, that's insane. Um, so really, it was honestly everyone's talking about about this, but it was really a lot of his idea, mostly mostly his idea. So, um, but it, it, it's fun to, for him to and I to to see it because our daughter loves soccer, and so <laughs> I hate to say it, but every time she starts kicking a ball, I'm like get this jealous look in my eyes, and I give her a tennis racket. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, Alexis has been um, a champion from the beginning, and we kind of came like at the idea. We were we were kind of introduced by people we talked to because he obviously was thinking about it um, very early too. And obviously, yeah. he's such he's such a great um, great advocate for for women's sports and for new sports in general. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, so let's talk about some of the owners. Our friend Eva is a part of it. You're a part of it, Alexis. And then we have Alexis and Olympia, which is my daughter. Yes. Um, and um, it, it's it's a lot of it's a, it's a big group. But um, what do you, how do you feel like this group will be able to create excitement in LA? Well, LA is obviously such a big entertainment city, so it makes so much sense to have the entertainment community come and you know even um, bring broader attention to to these incredible players. Obviously, they have so much attention that they brought to themselves. Um, so to have people like Eva Longoria and Uzo Aduba and um, America Ferreira, Jess Chastain, Jen Garner, there's a lot of kind of incredible women who are part of it, who are from the entertainment community. And then of course we have 14 former US um, national team players. Um, uh, so that's incredible too, to have athletes in the sport owning the team. I mean, Isn't that's that cool. I think that's really cool for athletes to, to own something. And it's, it's interesting, you know, you have a different type of pride when you're there and you're playing for something that you just are, you own. And um, it just makes you feel, it, obviously you want to play better. You want to play harder because it's like, okay, not only are you playing me, you're playing me in my stadium, like literally, <laughs> you know? Um, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. yeah, been with with your sport, of course, with and and ownership and how you feel a part of it. Wait, I didn't hear the question. How you feel like is as being having ownership in your own sport? Yeah, it's really interesting. You know, it's um, it really hasn't been done much. I through by way of uh, the you know, a football team have ownership a little bit, maybe in, in a small tennis tournament, but um, I've been working in other ways to just try to get that more. So it's not really done really in tennis. And so it's really interesting to have an opportunity to do that in a different sport and kind of like cross and hopefully be able to cross back and do that a little bit in tennis. But I can only tell you that it, it, it would be a wonderful feeling to have that. Yeah, I, I, I really, I've been so inspired by the response to our announcement because so many yeah, it was crazy right yeah and people are starting to think about how to do this in other sports too which is just mm -hmm. so exciting because it's yeah it's insane that we're here in 2020 and it's, you know, it's so disproportionate the coverage and the attention that male sports still get um compared to the women's sports yeah it's um and that's something that we always still have to fight for in tennis. Like some tournaments we'll be at and I'll look at the schedule and it'll say, oh, well, there's four men's matches and then there's two men women's matches or five men's and two women's. And I'm just like, and then I feel bad because I'm always one of those women. And I'm like, well, I literally have said, just put me on the second court so we can have other players have an opportunity to play on center court. And obviously that doesn't go well um, in the uh in the in the tournament because they're like no 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 you need to be on center court and I'm like yeah but these other women really need a chance and they deserve it they've been working literally their whole lives to have this opportunity and um you guys are just given two matches a day match and a night match and all of the rest are men um so uh you know every year I come back to this you know some different tournaments and every year you know I'm like hey I'm back with the same argument so are you guys ready? Like, and so they kind of expect me, but I'm like, okay, so now when are we going to, you know, make, you know, those different changes? Um, so it's, 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 it's cool. What we were telling me yesterday that only 4% of women sports are covered. Yeah. I actually I, didn't know that when you told me that. Yeah. The, 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 the statistic that um, our team shared with me was that, um, yeah, only 4% of sports coverage is of women's sports, mm -hmm. which is insane. I mean, like the WNBA is playing today. We've got the amazing um, soccer tournament tomorrow, the final tomorrow for the women's mm -hmm. soccer. Of course, tennis. Of course, there's also softball and volleyball and so many things that deserve, uh, you know, more. And more. they're fun to watch. I love watching like the volleyball. <laughs> And yeah. there, I, mean, so, I mean, there's so many women athletes right now, tennis players, soccer players. Uh, but yeah, that's been, um, it's been really cool for her, you know, for um, her future here. Uh, so um, just a little on another note is, can I, can I ask you a question just about? 
Yes. The, um, the female Thor. I, I mean, I'm sorry. The female. <laughs> the female. Um, well, it wouldn't be called Thor. It would be called. Uh, she's actually the mighty Thor. That's the, the mighty Thor. There's a <laughs> series of the comic of the the comics that um, had the female Thor, where Jane becomes Thor, and she's mm -hmm. called mighty Thor. Mighty so Thor. Okay. Okay. Have you finished shooting? Oh no! Have you even started? Yeah. Oh. More time to you know get Jack, which oh. I have not. <laughs> You've got a long way to go. <laughs> so I've got the like carbo loading down, but not the like exercise. Part. I have some good tips for you. Okay, <laughs> I'm good. Lots of good pizza re recipe. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I never saw the ending. I don't even know the, the last one, the end game, because I was just so upset. Because in the comics, I would like to say, in the comics, Iron Man does not die. And so I was like, why are they doing this in the movies? Because it makes no sense. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, spoil alert, but it's been out for a long time. So, very excited. Um, we're, we're shooting in Australia at the beginning of next year. Oh, and wow. So, I have like, and so will you take your daughters and your son with you, your daughter and your son with you? Yeah, I think, I mean, we're obviously everything is like weird because of pandemic time. Who knows um, what's happening, which will be um, um, exciting. And yeah, I'm yeah. interested to see what, if I can actually gain muscle. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, my pressing question, this is the most important, important question of the day um do you really do point oh i was when we were shooting black swan i mm -hmm. like basically got to the point where i could safely do like very basic stuff and then i had a great dance double sarah lane who mm -hmm. did the like you know i'm sure when you watch tennis and movies you can tell what is like the actor yeah. and yeah. no learn it, that feel authentic yeah, you said I lo what was the question? Are there any tennis movies that you love that you feel not like? Yet. Not yet, <laughs> Because tennis is different. Like in golf, you get swing, you know, in baseball, you can swing. And, and tennis is like for the tennis eye. It, and I'm sure it's the same in these other sports. Playing since they were like seven. That's the problem. In tennis, you have to really start playing when you're like five, latest seven, if you want to have a really like authentic look and authentic feel. And that's impossible for actors to do, you know? So it's, it's really hard. Um, Boris Kojo, a friend, friend of mine, you may know him. Mm -hmm. He um, plays a lot of tennis. We'll, we'll, we'll send him an anonymous letter. <laughs> I want to like cut this part out and send it to him and he's going to be really mad at me. <laughs> um yeah so then uh what else i was gonna ask you um uh so when are like when are we we gotta have to get in a room and just have i have so many ideas um you know that i can help out with the team and um uh, just kind of steer you guys hopefully in the right direction back to the the yeah. soccer team i think that'd be really cool um From and, so also i'm sure you know like how how to engage with our year and um, mm -hmm. that'd be really cool too to well two things i'm from la and i play sports so <laughs> i mean play sports is a little bit of an understatement so <laughs> i play sports from time to time you know other times i'm putting on tool skirts <laughs> yeah i love so much because i feel like i don't know about you i feel we're in different <laughs> stories and it's so awesome to see like you be both for the world and like many athletes like that we can we can have like a wider variety of what it means to be a female athlete um mm -hmm. but, yeah. and we all come like different yeah because you can be you can be strong and say you know I think that that's just the new the new athlete I know a lot of new young athletes are like they love fashion and they love to look amazing and then they go on the court and they are or everywhere else and they just you know they, they're really intense you know so I think I love that there's so many more athletes like that that are can just be themselves and I feel like these and bigger um, platforms to be themselves and now like it's it's really um, it's really cool to just uh, to, to just be yourself now and whatever you want to do as long as it's positive and in the right way yeah yeah well just I feel like showing like how many different types of humans we can be at, it's just show gives like more possibility to girls you know like yeah. you don't 
have to fit into like some type that people... Like, what do you hope for your daughter? I just want there to be every opportunity, you know, whatever to, to be her, her that, you know, you're fighting for different um, ways of being like a female athlete. I think, you know, in my profession, there's different ways of being like a, a female actress, you know, that, that, um, you know, we have the opposite thing that we're expected to always be like frilly and dress t-shirt, you know, why can't, mm -hmm. why can't I just be out there like that? So, um, um, you know, that everyone has the, the most possibility just to be their truest self. Um, I mean, without sounding totally corny. <laughs> yeah, no, not at all. Not at all. Um, I really have so many off screen questions that I realized about co-stars and, um, uh, stuff like that um so uh, can i ask you just really random question like who's your favorite marvel character oh well i mean uh probably valkyrie um mm. that's a, a major major love for for that woman uh, oh awesome and then um like what has been your favorite movie to work on um, well, Black Swan, I think, definitely, because, I mean, that's where I met my husband, so mm -hmm. that's, like, you know, and of yeah. course, it was a very, what's, you, what's been your favorite, like, uh, match, or do you have, can you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's, I can't have a favorite match. Um, <sighs> that's a really good question. My favorite match. Um... No, with Venus on doubles, we have so much fun in doubles. That's so cool. I mean, that's, that's yeah, like... Yeah, there's been some matches that we lost, but I'm literally on the court laughing the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we'll lose all whole game because I'm laughing, and I just <laughs> physically can't stop laughing. Um, well, there's one particular match we were playing in Rome, and um, oh my goodness, it was so funny. I think... Venus is like so stoic and she never gets angry. And she got so mad in this match that she, I think she cracked her racket, which is what we call pulling a Serena. And um, I just died. I was like, honestly, it was just ridiculous. It was, uh, so I think I've had the most fun memories, <laughs> definitely on the doubles court. Obviously I've had some amazing singles memories, but just like one match in particular, I can't quite put my finger on it unless it was someone that I was playing that I really didn't like and I won but can't easy to do sometimes but um I don't know I yeah it's a good question you know I'm gonna think about that uh, what else you got, what else you got? <laughs> watching the the soccer final tomorrow the women's soccer final tomorrow yeah we're definitely gonna watch it now that um there's sports back on TV. It's exciting to just kind of tune in. So uh, we're excited to watch it. And we'll hopefully Olympia be up from her nap and be able to watch a little bit. But then I have my little racket in the background in case she wants to kick that ball. <laughs> no offense, but I'm tennis player at heart. So that's where your child will choose. That's yeah. <laughs> so good. Um, yeah, I'm excited. And it's cool um, that they're on CBS now. I'm like, so oh, it's so great. Um, so it's really exciting to partner with you, uh, mostly with my husband and you and Olympia and you. And like I said, we need to have a women's owner room where, you know, what happens. <laughs> and of having the, the, all the, all the childcare facilities and the men's area. Yes, you know, there's like, exactly, exactly. Um, so I really look forward to it. I look forward to seeing you in person. Hopefully that happens soon. I love you, Natalie, and you're so beautiful, Natalie. And uh, well, um, it's really so many amazing comments. So I'm really excited that you joined. You're the greatest. I'm so, so honored to get to be on this team with you, on this ownership team with you and Alexis and Olympia. It's the best to have. And so many, like, America, and e it's so many amazing people. Eva, <laughs> and it's really, really, really cool. It's going to be super fun so excited so thanks for thanks for having me here thanks for showing all right everyone i'll see you next week on serena saturday bye natalie bye everyone